All right, guys, so we have unboxed the Nova. Um, as you can tell, I still have to put it together and that's gonna be in a follow-up video, but before I can even run my laser, I need to set up the exhaust system. So that means I need to unbox this baby, which is the FilterBox Expand, and this was sent to me by FilterBox a while ago, but I couldn't unbox it because I didn't have a laser to connect it to, okay? so. I have promised you in the past that I would come back with like an updated video on my experience with all of the filter boxes. I will say up until now, I love them. I have the filter box micro as well as the filter box compact and they've been great. So I promise to come back with a follow up video on all three of them um, and give you my experiences with them as well. But for the sake of time today, we're just going to talk about unboxing this baby here. As you can see, there is a lot going on here. We've got a lot of products that we've been selling. Um, and for the Nova, she's not gonna go, basically the, the floor plan that I thought I had for her is gonna change. And so you might also see in this video footage of us moving it around and trying to figure out where, it's, where is gonna be its forever home. Um, so let's get started. So when I unboxed my other ones, I found that you could undo this here. It doesn't seem very difficult, but I'm just gonna cut it because it's you don't need it. And then pull it all off. Ready? Okay, so we've taken off the box. Now these are the three different components in here. You have the pre-filter above there and then the carbon and the, oh gosh, what's the other one? You got the, the carbon and the HEPA ones are down here. So it's very heavy though. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this case on the outside first, pull them out, and then I should be able to get it all out and then <laughs> reassemble it. <laughs> okay, come on. <laughs> okay, so to, to be able to pull this off, I need to free this here. So I'm just gonna loosen it, something like that. <laughs> and then it'll come off, see? So I have this back in a corner, but that's also because I've been storing it for a while, so obviously you can see I'm kind of squished back here, so you kind of want to have all areas clear so you can easily, you know, free this. So we have gone ahead and gotten it out of the crate, taken it apart so that it was easier to get out of the crate. Now we're gonna reassemble um, the filters and then move on to whatever the next step is. Then put this back on. 
So now that I've done that, I can go ahead and take the straps and secure them again and tighten it. turning it around, but I tried to keep everything in the order that they had it <laughs> as it was sent. So hard part is technically done. Now we have to set up the exhaust part and calibrate it and then we should be done. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this stuff and see what's included. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna take this piece and I'm going to attach it here. I took this from this bag so that I can go ahead and secure it. Easy enough. Okay, so I have this connected and now the next step is to connect this to this and then this end to the laser. But I really need to figure out, <laughs> I really need to figure out where I wanna put this thing. So I'm gonna take a minute and think about where to put everything. Just so you guys see, this is my current disaster <laughs> that I'm working with. This is what I gotta figure out first. You know, things that should be super simple stress me out. <laughs> I've got it in place, but I, I keep asking myself, is this the right layout? Is this the, the perfect layout for what I need? Um, I ended up having to move the desk because obviously I need a place to put the computer. Um, but now that also means I need to move all of my storage racks, which are heavy. So we have to take everything down, shift it all over because then the space back there won't be so you know, crowded.
You know, I will say this, I like the hose that they provide. It's nice and sturdy and strong. It's not like the flimsy dryer hoses that laser companies send you. <laughs> um, it's a good one. It's a decent one. Like you don't have to go and upgrade and get a better one, which I like. Also, just a note so you don't make the same mistake I made. Usually, you know, they cut these hoses, right? And there's sometimes the metal or the copper uh, wiring is exposed. So yeah, I totally just scraped myself here. So just uh, be aware of that. I, I know better, but I missed it. Didn't see it and uh, got a little boo-boo, but I'm all right. Also, I know I'm not gonna explain this right, but <laughs> the Expand X2, okay, it does, have a lot of voltage or something like you need a special plug for it so notice how this one you know this one sideways and i don't know <laughs> um just keep this in mind because you are going to need a special outlet to plug that in okay all right here we go i have power that's a good sign <laughs> Filter box. Oh look, is there a, yeah there is, let me take this off. Okay, number of blowers. Well, I'm a little confused because it says, check your device to confirm the number of blowers installed, see the sticker on the front of the machine. Mm. doesn't say anything about the number of blowers expand x2 is that is that what the two stands for i'm gonna assume that that's what that means so i'm gonna say two all right um let's see by, okay so select the number of blowers by pressing the up or down arrows two blowers okay i'm gonna assume that that's what they mean i have the expand x2 Two should stand for two blowers, I think. <laughs> okay. Um, then press OK. All right, and press OK to calibrate. And so this this part's important that you have the laser like in place where it's usually going to be, um, because it's going to take into account all the bends and restrictions happening in the back. So let's go ahead and press OK. Okay, so this right here is the airflow, which I am most likely, I'm gonna adjust that once I start cutting, but I know for sure it's not gonna be as low as 10. I mean, I I think, okay, so when I called once, cause I made a mistake, and I'll tell you guys about that in my follow-up video, I'm just gonna set it to like 50 for now. I'm just gonna leave it, cause I'm not cutting anything. Um, but typically people find the airflow percentage that they like and they leave it there. I fluctuate mine because I find that at least on my Mira 7, for example, when I'm cutting acrylic, I don't need as much airflow. I can go down to like 40%. I think that's on my micro. I'm getting it confused. But I know that I go lower for acrylic 
because I, I don't smell anything even with a lower airflow, um, but I have to increase it to like 70 to 80% when I'm working with like MDF or wood. So um, apparently that's not what most people do. It's not, a, it's not a bad thing, but I know that the more airflow you use, um, the dirtier the filters get. So I actually fluctuate them so that I can also try to extend the life of, life of my filters. All right, guys, we did it. Um, my camera's about to die, but I wanted to wrap up this video. We've set up the filter box expand, so I have my fume extraction ready. Now that all that's left to do is align my laser and finally I can get to running my first cut. But it is the end of the day and I have to go get my kids because it's Friday. We get to have play dates and do all that fun stuff. So I hope you enjoyed your time here with me. I hope you learned something. Uh, again, this was sponsored and sent to me by Filtrabox. I've had a great experience with my other two and I'll be coming back with a follow-up video on fume extraction life in the laser world and let you know my thoughts on the whole experience. With that, I'll see you guys here soon over at That Mom with a laser. Bye, guys.